Hello everyone, my name is Trinity Aeronaut and today I am at the very first day of the Home and Garden Expo and I'm very excited about this particular segment. It is a, the preview of the new Linden Homes and I have to say I have looked these over and I love them. Whereas before the Linden Homes were certainly roomy and there was variety, there was certain elements that uh, maybe we we as, as residents wanted to change. Um, they had no land. Uh, they were, uh, they, they did some, you know, changing, but there really wasn't a whole lot you could do uh, because you simply had your porches to make changes on. You could add colors, you could do, change colors and all of those kinds of things, which actually the new homes also allow you to do. But the beauty of this is they looked at some of those houses and, and the way the residents were decorating them and they, they kept notes. And I'm really surprised about that, but what we have here is, uh, is uh, some improvements on the homes and uh, some individualization and more importantly, a yard. A yard to spend some time in and to decorate in. So without further ado, I want to show you some of these houses. So the first things that we're gonna do is we're gonna check out this, this, um, these sides here. So this, uh, this is the mailbox. Now, according to this, the mailbox controls which style of Linden home is on your parcel. So I'm thinking, don't quote me, but that sounds a little bit like a Riz box. And I'm not 100% certain if you can, if you have an option of any of these houses on each of these plots, or none of the houses, or, you know, or whatever one you might pick. But that one's open to interpretation, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm thinking. Um, I haven't had a chance to talk to any of the Lindens, so I really don't know the answer to that. Over here on this size, if you press Control, Alt, Shift, and P, you will see the boundaries of the parcel. And there we go. You see that red line all around the edge of the, the, um, the wall and the hedge? And so the, all of this is your land. So you can do what you will with it, I, I believe. I, I, I think you can personalize it. Let's find out what it says. Trees, hedges, and walls have been used as much as possible to give the parcels a sense of privacy. And I agree with that uh, because I, I do believe that all of the hedge, all the trees, and all of the hedges and the decor that are around here are only on the the um, the linden parts, the roads, these beautiful little sidewalks. The, um, the light, the, the, the street lights, all of those are actually on the Linden Sim, which I'm, I'm just loving. So, and then of course we have all of ours to do everything we want to. to. I just think that's, you know, and I don't know that we can terraform in here. I doubt that we can, but, but um, it's very, very nice to be able to put out, you know, your trees and your bushes and your flowers. Okay, another sign here. This sign says, houses are high load with detailed material uh, in textures and materials, but do not count against your parcel um, land impact, LI. So there you go. Now, this particular home is called the Winchester. This, these are traditional homes, and this is the Winchester. And this happens to be one of my favorite of the new houses. So let me take you in and show you. Now these these are a little bit smaller. These houses are because you don't have the entire um, uh, uh, by twelve to do it to, to work on. And you can see that they're a little smaller, but you know 
in, in all honesty, ever since those homes were, the other homes were built, um, residents have been getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Uh, and I think that the, these homes are mirroring the size of the residents with the size of the homes. So you've got two rooms here. Uh, at first I thought they were small. Now I'm beginning to think, you know, I've got my smaller avatar on. I'm, I'm beginning to think that maybe, well, this room is certainly small. This could be, I don't know, maybe a breakfast room, a breakfast nook, you know, some breakfast room or a, a, maybe a small dining room. And this room could be a... A living room or maybe maybe with a, a small kitchenette here up here in the corner then out then there's a door outside here and you can walk out into your backyard isn't this wonderful lots of trees and just just beautiful so I'm gonna go back in here can see that these uh, these these walls are a nice cream but if you use the control panel which I believe is right here you it allows you to change the colors of the walls the roof the floors you can also add names to an access list in other words you can lock your doors which is very nice then, as far as the windows and, and are concerned, you can, the doors, the windows, and the blinds are clipped, clicked to open and are lockable. So these windows literally will open very nice, very nice on a nice spring day like this. You want to have your windows open. And then upstairs is the bedroom, or at least what I would use as the bedroom. This is the bedroom. And you've got that beautiful veranda out there. Look at that balcony. Isn't that lovely? You can add a couple of seats out here and enjoy looking at your garden if you want to put a garden out. So this is Winchester. And next house we're going to do is going to be the one right across the street. Okay, this house is the second of the choices. It is called the Continental. This is uh, another choice. We've got the Winchester and the Continental. And as you can see, there are people discussing this in uh, local. Even though you can't see them, there are many many people around here and you can see the writing and not just mine you can see all the writing um that people are saying about it and uh, um, i would have done premium if i'd known this uh, another person says it's a wonderful start this is really nice and uh and it really is i'm not going to read any of the uh any of the writing because i did spend a lot of time over at the other one so you can see this is my second favorite it also has the control panel it changes everything this has two rooms in it two rooms this is a one room and then of course we've got the other room here and according to and from what <laughs> Shannon says if I'm reading right you can change houses come read this and I think everybody must be thinking that those that mailbox is like a, a, 
a scene changer. The only thing is it's houses instead of scenes. So we've got a little lander landing here that would be nice to have maybe a little seat in it. Uh, I don't know, maybe 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 a, a shelf or something. And you've got this lovely room. It also has windows that open and close, as you can see. This is one of the other colors that uh, they offer. So you've got that cream, you've got this lovely green. Um, um, it doesn't have a, a veranda up there, but it does have these lovely double doors out of this room, the sitting room back right here, so that you can go straight into the backyard. And it has a back fence, which leads to the houseboats which I am going to talk about in a few minutes. And, and you can see it's a tree-lined street with mature trees and lovely uh, uh, entrances and little tchotchke like um, potted plants. So we've seen the Continental and the Westchester. This house is, if I'm not mistaken, the Adams. Yes, it is the Adams. This is a much smaller house. However, I believe that it makes up for it with a larger lawn. So if you're a single lady or gentleman and you really don't need much of a home, but you really do love to garden and do you love to be outside, this is the house for you. We've got two rooms and of course this entrance, which it, you know, you do, you do have an option to have a little chair and maybe a table over there in the corner. You've got opening windows. You've got a control panel the same way. You can see that this blue is uh, this kind of baby blue. It's a little bright for me, but um, who knows? It might be right for you. I also don't care for the carpet, but I suspect that could also be wood. So uh, it's just showing you carpet. And again, you know, uh, a nice little uh, set of double doors here, which leads you out into a lovely backyard, which really is quite a good size. I guess uh, it, what you lose in the house, you more than make up for putting things out here. I want you to notice, though, that there are lovely these are lovely entrances into the home it, you know it really does feel as if you could have children wandering you know running up and down the streets and uh and and the sidewalks and and you know skating and uh and uh, just even cars you can drive cars up and down here i just think we've got the continental the winchester the adams and this house is the elderly, the elderly. This is maybe the smallest of the houses because uh, this house is really three rooms, two of them tiny. This is the biggest room in the house. And this pink makes me I'm sure it'll be somebody's favorite, though. So this room is small. It is very small. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a bathroom here? Maybe. Maybe a bathroom? Not sure. This is a living area. Let's see how big this is. Look at this room. So this might end up being the bathroom. Well, you know what they're about the same size. Either one of them could handle a bed. Maybe some um, a bed, maybe some uh, uh, bedside tables, maybe a little chest in the corner. And then one of these could be a bathroom. I'm not sure. Oh, they, they look the same. Again, all the same uh, things that you had in the other houses are going to have in this. And I think there'll be even more room outside. 
And remember, none of this counts toward your land impact. I'm not sure what a uh, what a land impact is on um, on these houses. I know I have one uh, of the older Linden houses, uh, although I never use it. Um, because, but I, 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 these houses, I'm going to trade out that one for one of these, because these houses are amazing. Again, um, you can see there is a back gate, and, you know, I, I guess if you, if you can find a back gate, you can find some of these houses by the water, uh, with these little, these beautiful little, um, houseboats back here, I would grab it. I would grab it because that is very nice. We'll get to the boat houses, I promise. Okay. This house is in Adams, loving all the little plants down at the front. Lovely. This house over here is the Winchester. This house is a Continental. Which leads, in this case, to a dead end, but I think that you would find in, um, in, on, the, on the Sims that it really does not lead to a dead end. Okay, those houses were, there were four of them, and uh, I believe there were only four, at least that I could see. However, and I'm not 100% certain how many there are here with all these beautiful colors and all these different ways you can you can um, customize them it seems like there are so many more floor plans than what what I'm what we were seeing uh, back at, at the other place uh, this has I'm I don't know let's see if we can count together how many of these there are of the uh, boat houses the beauty of these boathouses is not only is there a boathouse, but if you go up here, you can see there is a good share of open water as well to, um, to moor your boats in. So I'm not 100% certain if you need to moor a boat. Uh, I don't know where these would be sitting. Um, so perhaps just down in the middle of the water i don't know or maybe uh, at, at at piers like this so I, i'm just not sure but let's go ahead and go into our first boat house which is um the evening star very good so there's gonna be boat names boaty names this is called the Evening Star. This looks like one pretty much big room. Yeah, this is one big room. And you would just look up here. I suspect you could put 
you could put a a um, trim up here I don't know maybe texturize it or or something and you could have a separate room up there um, you may have to put a TP in or something along those lines but. over here you see a control panel in the corner uh, I think this is this is where you're going to get most of your customization at. I, I think that they've ri literally used that that uh, control panel to customize maybe four or five of these houseboat floor plans into all the different varieties you see here. This is the first one, so you see that's one big room. Uh, let me show you the second one. I am not going to TP over there, I'm going to fly. And this one has, as you can see, a beautiful deck. So I'm going to go here on the top deck and I'm going to work my way down. So up here, we see a one room up here, which could be could make you a lovely bedroom with a balcony party party deck <laughs> party deck yeah this is not the party house that that one comes later on I'll show you that one and then this one down here also looks like this could be divided into two rooms as well you, you've got this smaller area over here that could, I don't know, maybe be a kitchen, dining area, and then this section over here could be, and let me, let me, put it, let me do this right. This over here could be the galley, and this could be a small sitting room, or a, a medium-sized sitting room, quite frankly. I think, you know, this actually is one of my favorites. This is called Barnacle. This is the Barnacle. So we've got the Evening Star and the Barnacle. And then down here on the first floor, you've got your control panel and you've got enough walking room out here. Oh, and I, I want to point out, I'm going to point out to you you see this deck up here with the railing? Think about this. That railing could have on the end of it a diving board, a high diving board, and you could literally dive off the end of your boat out into the water because the water, part of the water is open for you to moor your boats. again. So we've got the evening star and the barnacle. This boat over here. You can see they're all just different colors and any one of them could be any one of these colors. That's the beauty of it. So the only thing this houseboat is missing is a way to travel the seas. But really, does a houseboat travel the seas? No, I don't think so. I love this one as well. So this has three distinct levels. Down here you've got an upper level of, of the, the ship. And then here you've got a, a sunken part of the ship. Um, and then, if you go up the stairs, you will find a door that leads you out onto a very large patio. What the heck? You could put that diving board right here on the end of the of the um, side of the boat and just dive off there. 
Nice, huh? Okay, this is the party boat. This is the party boat. And at least it's my version of a party boat. So, not fine. This upstairs is, of course, a deck. It's a very large deck. You can have several people up here dancing. You can have a bar. You could make it a party boat. That's why I call it the party boat. But it does not have that as a name. It is called Wallflower. It's a houseboat called the Wallflower. Not a wallflower if you're getting this boat. This one's party central. However, what you gain in deck, you lose in in um room down here on the first floor that's um would be kind of hard to turn this into two rooms i guess you could do it here you could put a wall up here you know or maybe two walls with an entrance i don't know and uh use this as a bedroom or some such thing and of course you still have your privacy As you see, all of these lines go up and down. So you literally could, if you wanted some privacy, if you wanted to put a bed here or a, a bath or something, you could create a little bit of privacy here. And you really wouldn't need a whole lot of room. Or just a bed. I have to say that party deck makes up for it. The party deck and the open water for you to moor your boat makes up for anything you sacrifice here. And check this out down here on the deck. That's the face of the deck. here walk to the end of the pier and as you can see I'm I'm not a hundred percent certain these kinds of things are going to be on the ends of the decks but even if they're not you could certainly put them wherever it is your land ends you could put these little tchotchkes here this this little kind of decor and you know here's I, I sat in this before You can sit here, and surprisingly enough, it had, you can swap out the textures, you could do single or friend, uh, you could do couples, you could do couples poses, and there are just so many of them. Now, I'm not honestly sure that it comes with these items at the end of the pier, but I think even if it doesn't come with them, you can certainly pick up some of these and, and put them in. And then, of course, you fall off the end of the pier to the ground. <laughs> you fly. Okay, I think that's, I think that's, I think, if I'm looking at maybe the rest of this, some of these are just the same poems. Um, Yeah, it looks to me like these are some of the same homes. 
Looks like maybe there might be four or five different homes. And yep. This one's my favorite, I have to say. The one with the balcony and the room upstairs. And what I love about these are, this is the other thing people yearned for, water. You know, water. How about letting me sail out into Linden water? And I think, I, may, I might be mistaken, but if you look over here at this wall, I suspect that what you would have in that, it, it, when these are set up, is you would have more of these boats over here at this end with, I believe, an open waterway so that you can float your boats in and out and then just go right to your houseboat. And I think this is the perfect solution for those people that really do like sailing on, on, on water. So that is, this is certainly a way to go. I think I've showed you everything. You can look as, as I fly through, you can see some of the decor they've got here. Um, you've got fishing, fishing floats here. You have a, a little boat tied up, a little rowboat tied up there to the, uh, looks like you've got a, on the end of this boat, got a, a barrel and you've got over here you've got a, a, a picnic table that's nice picnic table with some, with some food and drink on it and then of course you have a couple of lounge chairs here and I think the walls just signify where the So we put a barbecue on some of these decks. Just lovely. The um, I kind of I kind of really love the uh, bright colors on the outside of some of these boats. I'm not crazy. Wouldn't wasn't crazy about some of the colors on the outsides of some of the houses. But these are really beautiful. You know, on boats I think that they really the brightest way to go. This is Trinity Aeronaut over here at the Home and Garden Expo. This was my tour of the brand new Linden Homes that will be coming to your second life soon. I don't have a definitive date, but I'm sure Second Life and Linden Labs will be announcing it everywhere have first dibs if you are a premium member. Just keep in mind though that these are for premium members. So if, and if you're not a premium member and you're looking at these and you think these are freaking awesome, you probably want to go ahead and start paying your dues or fees or whatever. I think between this, the Linden gifts, and the stipend that we get every week, I think that that, in the long run, more than pays for itself. Thank you. If you have enjoyed this video and you'd like to see another, more of my work, then make sure you like my um, video and subscribe to my page. Thank you.